Hi everybody! We recently released the React Bricks v4 with many new features. The main ones are a media library, which is a complete digital asset management system, a new interface for advanced SEO with the full schema.org implementation, multiple content environments, the ability to show the controls, the sidebar controls of Bricks on a user or page basis, the read-only image and the slug prefix for page types. Now we will see them quickly. So first of all, the media library. So now you have this uh, media button here to see the media library. Uh, images are uh, organized in folders, so you can choose the folder, you can move images to folders or to the trash, you can see them in lists or thumbnails, you can search for images, you can see the used and not used and upload images in batch. When you uh, want to change an image, uh, you can now upload or uh, specify the URL, select from a splash or choose from the library. So in this case, I want to choose this image. You see that it is used already in two pages. So I can select the original or select a version which is already cropped and flipped in this case as it is in the about us page. So I select it and I have the same crop and flip. I can change the crop area and you see I can rotate and flip the image. And so let me save this. Okay, then the other feature that I want to show you is the SEO. So I go to the page, click SEO and you see that we have the complete meta tags with the preview and the open graph and for images I have the right aspect ratio for the open graph image. I have the Twitter card and then we have the full implementation of the schema org semantic uh, fields. So for example you have a page which is about an event, you can select event, add all the properties and for example attendance mode is online, we have the stream URL etc, if it is offline we have the venue data, you can add the tickets and anything. And also the recipe, for example, if you want, with all the data for a recipe. So it's very complete, very handy to achieve top search engine optimization. Another thing is the multiple environments. So if I go to settings and now you have these environments where you can define um, multiple environments so let me create another environment for example development and you see that now all the content is copied to another environment this sandbox environment so that uh, I can then uh, choose that environment in code if I go to the Revbrix configuration I can say that I want the environment which is development and now this instance of Revbricks uh, will be configured to get the data from the development environment. And uh, well, um, in this way you can have, for example, uh, this sandbox environment where you do the experiments uh, and uh, you are not affecting the main, uh, uh, the content for the main website. Uh, when you want, you can sync back uh, and get the main data in your uh, development environment or you can, could also create a view of your website while you still can push on v1 and when you're ready you can push this view on the main environment. Another thing is the read-only images. So for example, for the blog, I show you for the blog, your editor, the editor can edit the single blog pages but then on the front end, I have a list of blog articles. And so 
in code on the blog you see that I am using the fetch pages of Rebrick to get all the pages of type blog and then I am simply mapping over the posts and uh, rendering this post list high item here so uh, this is not editable because you don't edit the thumbnails of the post but you edit the single uh, post page and so this image, which is the uh, featured image of the article, is a read-only image, but using the image from Rebricks, you have all the optimizations of uh, uh, the Rebricks image, uh, like uh, the uh, source set, uh, all the responsive version, the uh, use of the uh, native lazy load or the fallback lazy load, etc. Uh, last thing that I'd like uh, uh, to show you, uh, no really there are two things that I want to show you still, one is the uh, ability to show or hide the um, sidebar controls of a brick based on the logged in user, so let me add a brick, uh, let me go to the editing interface, let's add a very simple brick uh, this uh, text image here which is very simple it has an image side and the background color what I want to do is uh, have the background color only if the user has a custom role of designer so what I can do is I go to settings and I create a custom role which is a designer okay and now I I, I don't uh, apply the designer custom role to me so that we can see that if I get this background color, if I uh, um, set this background color only for designer, I will not see it anymore. So let's go to the code of this brick, uh, which is uh, this text image. If I go to the uh, BG, uh, to the let me here to the bg color side prop i can say show and show get the props and the page and the user before you had only the props so that you could show a props based on the values of other props now i can say okay if user dot custom role ID is equal to the designer, then I want to show this control, otherwise I don't want to show it. And so let me reload. And now you see that I have just left or right. So even more fine-grained permission for your users. And so now really the last thing, which is the slug prefix for page types. So let me go to page types. And for example, for the blog, I want all the pages to have a slug which start with blog slash. And so I can say slug prefix. And this is an object which should have a default uh, property. In this case, let's say blog slash. Then I can also provide all the translations with a, an object uh, um, for to translate the slug prefix in all the languages. Now let's just keep the default. And uh, let me go to a blog page. So here. And if I go here, you see that we have the blog. Um, slug prefix and but I have this warning because this slug now isn't starting with the correct slug prefix just save and now I have this blog prefix so this is useful for SEO purposes or to organize better the pages so uh, there are other things that you can see in the changelog for before so I suggest you to have a look at the at the changelog and thank you bye